everyone, welcome back to the UK Coco channel. Recently, my friend and I dropped down to the southern tip of Miyazaki Prefecture in order to visit Kushima City and meet the famous wild monkeys and horses that lives in the area. Our first stop was Kojima, which is a small uninhabited island filled with wild monkeys. We had to arrive there at 10.30 a.m. in order to take a boat to the island. So we had to leave our hotel early in the morning. We parked our car at Ishinami Beach and took a short boat ride from there. The round trip boat fare was 3,000 yen for two people. A driver kindly told us the reason why we must arrive in Kojima by 10.30 it's because the monkeys are fed in the morning by delicate people in order to maintain the island's delicate environment. After eating, the monkeys returned to the mountainside. He also told us the manners on the island. 1. Don't try to communicate with the monkeys. Pretend that you are an invisible being while on the island. Two. Don't look them in eyes. 3. Don't see them. The boat ride itself a great, exciting and educational experience. After landing on the island, our driver left the island and gave us about 20 minutes to be all alone with the wild monkeys. The breeding season of monkeys is said to be winter and it is said that babies are born in summer. So we could see many baby monkeys. Kojima monkeys are subject to research by the Primate Research Institute of Kyoto University and granted a peaceful and protected life. Then continue on to Cape Town to visit the white horses inhabitants. We almost lost our way to Cape Town because there was a road closure and we missed the sign that showed the detour. After being welcomed by warm and casual chat with a local old lady at the gate, we entered the Cape Town. The horses of Karma ignore humans as much as the white monkeys of Kojima Island. The history of the white horses in Cape Town started about 320 years ago when a local samurai Jimmy opened a ranch here to produce war horses. These days, their horses are white and once again. The view from the Cape Town is very nice and recommended as a sunset view lookout. To be honest, I didn't think I would be very excited to see the white animals in Kushima, but I was wrong. I couldn't have been more excited than the moment I landed on Kojima Island. It felt like a magical world where you are against to animal society and asked to be behave well. It made me feel humble and wish to keep such place respected and preserved. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like or subscribe to my channel. Also, please check my Instagram homepage address in the comment box below. In future videos, I hope to show you more of Miyazaki as well as other areas of kitchen.